Uganda's leading opposition figure, Kiza Besije, is reiterating that the walk to work protest will continue despite a government crackdown. Besije recently visited the United States seeking medical treatment for his eyes. He was temporarily blinded by pepper spray while being forcefully detained by police. Pontio has more. Uganda's main opposition leader recently made international headlines after he was shot and violently arrested by Ugandan military and police during a modest street demonstration over rising commodity prices. He says the broad-based walk-to-work protests are a civil movement for change and dismisses claims that the protests have died down. The whole protest was met with the uh, Unprecedented brutality, and I think there is a spell uh, of love to real for protesters to reorganize themselves into what uh, they should do or how they should do it. But the protests will not die, and for sure we shall continue protesting. I will continue participating in all the protests. It is our fundamental right uh, to, to show dissatisfaction, to demonstrate against what we don't want, and we shall exercise it until we get um, the results that uh, we deserve. Kiza Besije, one of East Africa's most popular politicians, has become the face of the protest that tries a week of urged people to leave their cars at home to highlight the soaring fuel and food prices. The protests started small but were boosted by the violent arrest of Besije. Besije says he was not surprised by the way the government unleashed this terror on him and his supporters. It would be, I think, um, um, deceitful to say that um, I, I am happy about what has been going on. It's not, it's not fun to be treated the way I was treated. But I fully know that there are even many, many more people who have undergone much worse than I have. I am actually among the, <laughs> the, the, the lucky ones. And I also recognize that all of this is happening in a process of struggle, of struggle for the people of Uganda to assert themselves so that they can have a government that they control, that works for them. And really, I, I am very alive to the fact that no freedom, no um, positive changes come without a cost. Best year was President Yori Museven's personal doctor during Museven's days as a Bush rebel. And now Best year has lost three elections against his former friend, including the latest presidential vote in February, which opposition leaders say was rigged. General Museven's critics argue that the images of security personnel smashing car windows with guns or pointing weapons at people is something that reminds Ugandans of the previous brutal regimes. Besje says he fell out with Museveni after they disagreed on which direction the country was moving. Our meeting point was to work on an agenda for democratic change in our country, to have uh, a government that would precisely uh, be based on people's will and that would work for the common good. The moment he veered away from that, I expressed my opposition to him and I think that's where the contradiction uh, began. General Museveni has been in power in Uganda for 25 years and until recently he was respected internationally for handling the economy, stabilizing a once chaotic country and for intervening in regional hotspots such as Somalia. But critics are growing in number and uh, say he marries these achievements with domestic repression. Museveni accuses Besije and other opposition figures of trying to start another Arab Spring type of uprising in Uganda and vows to crush the protests, blaming rising food and fuel costs on drought and global increases in oil prices. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.